Isn't life such a beautiful thing? Don't you think? If you guys are enjoying this content, don't forget to like this content here. Also, click on the bell. Come on, be a part of the notification. I don't think you guys are ready for this. Big shout out to Chutney. Big shout out to Pakistan. Big shout out to all the Pakistanis out there. I'm at the Pakistani restaurant here. Address, website, email address, phone number right there, guys. Drop my name, you guys check in. Also, I got everything written down so I don't forget it. So, big Pakistani feast tonight, guys. So, first thing we have is beer. Wait, wait, wait. First things first, I want to apologize first, guys, because I know I am going to get a lot of these words wrong, okay? All right, I'm, I'll do my best, okay? Okay? <laughs> first thing on the menu, it's called beer hairy kebabs. Next, we got chicken kebabs. Next, we got veg samosa, beef samosa. I think this is beef nehari. This is, no, this is beef nehari. This is beef nehari. This is chicken tikka. This is, looks like aloo gubi. Bindi masala. I'm not too sure what this is though. Chicken curry? Chicken curry. I think this is chicken curry. Beautiful biryani. Naan. I'm not even sure what this is too guys. Here. I'll show you guys right here. I think this is naan. I'm not 100% sure. But what is this guys? It kind of does look like naan. But deep fried. Looks amazing guys. Put down in the comments there guys. What is that? Look how beautiful this feast is. When are you guys gonna come by to my car and grab some guys? Look at this. Sitting distant buffet. How crazy is that? <laughs> Alright, we'll start it off guys. So this with some biryani here. Look at this biryani. Looks totally amazing. The smell in my car today, guys. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. First meal of the day too. And look at this feast, right? Oh man, you know what? I apologize guys, I spilled a bit. I will pick it up after, okay? We got some aloo gubi. So it's a vegetable curry, I wanna say. Just add a bit of that on there. Oh man, some cauliflower and everything. This right here, guys, is bindi. Oh, this is so hard. Bindi, give me a second. Bindi masala. So bindi masala is okra in their beautiful sauce. This is beef nahari. Who's drooling right now? Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> this is chicken tikka. I think this chicken tikka, yes, yeah, chicken tikka. Oh man. What am I forgetting? The beef kebabs. Anybody drooling right now? I think this is the chicken tikka too. Oh. There it is. So there's this chutney sauce here, which I'm just gonna pour on to this. Who's hungry? Wait, what else am I forgetting? Samosa? We'll just do one samosa for now. All right, let's do this. Here it is, guys. This right here is a plate of gods. My first meal of the day. Look how crazy it looks. And I got a buffet right beside me. So, first things first, let's try this. There's samosa. Let's see that. Guys, I apologize. This video, does this video look more crisp than the other? Let me ask that. Okay. I'm not too sure what kind of samosa this is. Either vegetable or beef, guys. I'm buying this. Quick time! You guys got it. Nice. I'm super pumped for this. Oh! <laughs> Let's do this. Vegetable samosa. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I think this is a sweet sauce. Sweet tamarind chutney. Mm hmm. That's amazing. Okay, Brianna time. 
Quick time. Quick time. Guys, super pumped for this. That's amazing. That's unbelievable. Mm. This is a Pakistani grilled meat. Guys, I've got all the names. Guys, just buy this quick tap. He's got it. Nice. Super pumped for this. This right here, it's a plate of gods. Mm. Mm. Gooby, good God, good God, nice. Mm, 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 mm. Chicken tikka, hmm? Good job. Let me eat a bit, guys. Then I'll talk a bit later. All right? Hmm? The gooby? Oh man. Nari? Beef Nari? Hmm? Okra. Hmm? Hmm? You guys even know what love is though? Let me ask you that. This right here. Mm. A little chicken. Like that. Nice. Mm. This right here, this whole beautiful plate right here, is love. Amazing. Just amazing. You know what's a blessing? When you feel the love in this food here. There's love added into this food here. You can actually taste it. <laughs> Mm. What I mean about love, you taste that good home cooked meal. You know what I'm saying? That good, comfort, loving meal. That beef shank is nice and tender right there. Yep.
That's some good home cooked meal right there. Mmm. This tamarind chutney sauce, guys. It's amazing. <laughs> At any buffet, guys, please be respectful. If I ever open a buffet ever, please be respectful. Clean off all your plate before you guys get seconds, all right? <laughs> Don't be wasting food at my buffet, all right? Don't be wasting nothing at my buffet, all right? Next, their beef samosa. So, here, just take a bite into it, guys. Quick tap. Let's get it. Nice. Super pumped for this. Oh, yeah. Nice seasoned, delicious beef with potatoes inside. Drink this tamarind sauce. <laughs> There's no time. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Shout out to everybody that loves Hot Pockets out there. Here's a question. Have you ever tried a samosa? Then compare it to a Hot Pocket. <laughs> mm. Why I'm pouring it is because I know there's some people gonna be like Juan just drank the tamarind chutney, can't believe it. So I'm giving you guys two of both worlds. Me drinking it, which I like. And me just pouring it on. For the one that's complaining. <laughs> Amazing. Last time I had the Nahari here, a lot of you guys told me to eat the Nahari with the naan. So, Nahari. Put some of that sauce on there. Oh, man. Wait, a little too much sauce. You don't want too much sauce, right? Because Gucci Man says so. Some people may be watching this and be like, Juan, slow down because it's all yours. Yes, I know it's all mine, guys, but I'm hungry, so I gotta eat, okay? Okay, everybody cool with that? Okay, some, is it Nari? Nahari? Nahari with some naan. Quick tap. You guys got it, nice. Super pumped for this. Mm. I agree. Eating this with naan is unbelievable. The sauce on this, or the gravy on this, Mm. You guys gotta try Pakistani food. It's amazing. Sauces to spices to everything. Here's a good bite for you guys. Let me roll this up. Okay. Quick time. Let's got it. Hurry up. Let's got it. Nice. Super pumped for this. Mm. 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 Here's a question. What is this thing? It looks deep fried, but it looks delicious. It kind of looks like a naan, but just fried up. Quick tap. Nice. Mm-hmm.
Unbelievable. Mm. Sometimes I just don't feel like talking and eating right now, guys. Some of you guys start telling me to tell a story. When I eat, I can't do it. I can't do it when I'm hungry. I just gotta eat. I wish I could tell you a story, but the food is too good. Have you guys ever tried something so good? Or you're eating something so good, your friend or whoever you are eating with wants to talk? Sometimes you just want to eat. Hmm. Eat and talk later. Then when you're done eating, they're just like, you eat so fast. <laughs> they're busy talking. You're eating. People who talk, I think, are the people who complain about their food being too cold at restaurants because they're talking too long. Just eat. Mm. Back to the buffet guys. So we got this gooby. Is it called gooby or am I just making it up again? It's the vegetable curry. Piece of the chicken curry here. A little of that okra too. Oh man. And I'll test you guys over this. Mmm. Chicken tikka. And some of the sauce on this. Oh man. There's lemon here, so I'm just gonna use the lemon. Squeeze that lemon on. Oh! Oh shoot! Did I get it on you guys? Oh man! Got you guys. Did I get it on you guys? Oh man! <laughs> I just want to say my bad guys, my bad. <laughs> hey, push you guys back a bit. Okay. Potato gooby. Quick time. Quick time. I just got it. Nice. Super pumped for this. Mm hmm Oh, shout out to all the vegans out there. Try this place out because they do have a big selection too of vegan dishes and it's amazing. Mm-hmm. Here's the thing about vegans, guys. I get so confused on why vegans... Big shout out to vegans. No hate on vegans. Why do vegans call their vegan food a mockery of meat? You know? Like vegan... Vegan burger. Vegan hot dog. Vegan cheese. I want to say, have your own words, you know? <laughs> I'm not hating on you guys. Like, I'm trying to compare it to Pakistani food right here. Like, this is called Alu Gubi. I'm not sure the translation of it. But you guys should have something like that, too. Like a mockery. Not a mockery. Just say your own thing. Like, if it's fried tofu, say fried tofu. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not hating on you guys, but I'm just saying, don't have like vegan cheese, vegan Philly cheesesteak, you know? 
It's so weird. I don't know. It's so weird, guys. Guys, chicken tikka. Good time. I just got it. Nice. Pump for this. That is marinated to the max right there. That is delicious. Mm. I want to say the nicest people you ever meet at this restaurant. The owner, I met the chef in the back. I think it was his wife. And it was some guy, some guy, some other guy too. And he gave this to me, or uh, what is it called? A Thai tea. Amazing. I sipped it while I was driving home. Or driving through the end here. I think the only bad thing about this restaurant is that it's too far from me. <laughs> like, I live deep north side, you know? Big shout out to all the north siders out there. Apparently, if you live in the north side here in Edmonton, it's known as the hood. <laughs> People call it the hood, guys. I guess I live in the hood. <laughs> I'm a hood guy now. <laughs> mm, yeah, that's the only bad thing. It's a 30-minute drive away from my place. Like this place is like deep, deep south or deep west. Is it west? It's by West Hampton Mall. You hit West Hampton Mall on, I think, 167? I think 167. You just drive straight down. Drive straight down till you hit a dead end road. Is it 167? 172. My bad. 172. Drive straight down. You hit a dead end road. Take a right. And it should be your first left. When you take a left, you're going to be kind of confused because I was kind of confused when I walked or when I went in there. Because when you go to the strip mall here, you have to go to the back back, you know what I'm saying? Like the back back of it. That's where the restaurant is. I wish he had signs out there, but he said that the city won't allow it. But it's like on the side back of the strip mall there. I highly recommend you guys go to this place. The food is amazing. First time I ever trying Pakistani food, blew my mind. Second time around, blew my mind. <laughs> oh man. What's cool about having a buffet in the car? You don't have to move. <laughs> Good food, comfortable seat. Arm reach food, right there. Can't beat that buffet. Such an awesome place, guys. If you guys get a chance, talk to the owner. Nicest guy ever, most cheeriest guy ever. I guarantee you. As I was eating, look who just texted me. Here, here's the question. What feast do you guys want me to make next for everybody? Comment down below. Comment down below and like that comment, okay? If you guys like the most comment on that one comment, I'll make it. All right? We're cool with that? All right. That's it. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Also, don't forget to pick a one of your palm shirts. Food Life's beautiful thing. Shirt. Like this. Share this. Peace out. <laughs>